Hi, I'm Martin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how the new schematic view in Maestro Designer has been built to make artists' lives easier when they're building complex data connections in their graphics. So we'll start off with a simple scene with a text and a cylinder. What I want to do with the cylinder is to make a simple animation scaling up. So I'll go to frame zero and set the value of the cylinder to be zero. And then I'll just jump forward to frame 50 and we'll set it to be one. So now I have a simple animation of this bar growing up. Now I want to connect this animation to the text object in the scene. So what I can do is I can take the extension button for the scale that I just animated, and I can drag and drop this into the schematic view. And you'll see it's created in here. I also have a control for the animation, so I can trigger it from within the schematic view as well. Now I'll go back to the scene tree, and I'll select the text. And what I now want to do is to take the text string and drop this into the schematic view as well. So now what I can do is I can connect these two properties together by dragging the chain from the source property into the target property. And now I have a connection. And what will happen now when I trigger the animation is that this number will change as the bar is animating. Now let's say I want to add an export to the scene as well. I want to change this value in a controller later. So I'll just go back to the scene tree for a second and we'll select the cylinder. Now I'll go over to the extension button and I'll just do create export. I'm not going to bother to rename it at the moment. What I can do is go back to the schematic view. you see that it's already updated to show that there's an export assigned to this property. Now I can go back to the extension button and drag and drop the scale back in. And you'll see that the schematic is now updated to show that there is also an export assigned to this property. So now I can set the export value directly from here if I want to. Now, also present inside the schematic is access to the functions editor. So this allows me to make edits directly to the functions without having to go to the connections window. So what I want to do is to change this so that I have an animation from zero to five, and this will create a percentage value that will show from zero to 100%. So when the animation reaches the 0.5, the value would be 100%. So let's start off by creating a function in here. So we want to float this. I take the animation, I multiply it by the export and divide it by 20. So that I get 100 divided by 20 will equal five. And then other values in between will be in a proportional position. So now you see that this has already updated the percentage value for the text string as well. So you can see that these text boxes are also fully interactive and are showing a preview of the data. So now what I want to do is I want to change this so that I show this to one decimal place. So I'll use the fun prec function to change precision. I'll have one decimal place, and then I'll float the incoming value. And I'll multiply this back by 20 to give me the percentage. And I will add also a percentage sign at the end of the function. So now if I enter a value into my export here, Let's say I want a percentage of 78. Hit enter, the value is sent. And now when I rewind and play the animation, I see the value changing automatically. So what else can I do from within the schematic view? Well, if I select one of the objects in here, I can hide the object. I can also expand neighbors. I can disconnect connections, wipe to remove the object from the schematic, select all, zoom in, zoom out, fit in view. And one of these really useful tools is the peak property editor. This will open the stack and show me the selected set of properties relating to the object. So in this case, it was the text input string that I selected. It will now show me the properties relating to the text input string. So this is opening the normal editor, but in the stack view which is very useful for working with objects in parallel to an object that's already selected in the scene. Now let's take a look at how we can use the schematic in an existing scene. So if I go to File, Open, I'll discard the work I've been doing at the moment and I'll select a different scene to look at. So I'll go to one of my demo scenes and I'll open Lower Third. Now in this existing scene, we don't have any schematic views 
created already. But what I can do is I can go to the connections window, undock this for a moment, move it down to the bottom of the screen. And then what I can do is I can drag and drop any property from the connections window into the schematic. So if I take this property here, drag and drop, I'll be able to visualize how these internal connections were made in a much more user-friendly way, which is very good for understanding how an art another artist might have made this scene. I'm sure you'll see that the new schematic view is a great addition to the tools inside Maestro Designer that makes the application much more welcoming, not only to new users, but also helps very advanced users visualize the data connections within their scenes very easily. Thank you for watching.